Hello, welcome to another video tutorial. Today we are in Google Sheets and I'm going to be showing you how to link data from different worksheets here or different tabs uh, to each other. So um, as you can see here, we have our initial set of data in column A and B. And then over here, I have created a, a summary worksheet uh, that we are going to be pulling that data from. So if you have some initial data over here and you want to link it in a new sheet, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it manually with the formula. And then I'm going to show you uh, the easy way of doing it as well. So here we are in our summary here. And what we want to do is we want to bring um, something over from our initial data tab worksheet here. So what we want to do is type in this formula. We want to say equals to parentheses and then whatever that tab or worksheet's name is, which in this case is data, and then exclamation point, which is our separator or divider, and then the actual cell number that we want to bring over from that worksheet. So as you can see, it'll tell us what that value is up above. And then if we just hit enter, as you can see, that brings that value, which is $200 right there, from that exact cell that we pulled it from. So if this data value here ever changes to say 300, if we go to our summary here, it will always change and reflect whatever the change is in the initial or original cell that it's pulling it from. So again, if we go back here, we double click, we can see what our formula is. Equals, parentheses, name of the tab or worksheet, exclamation point, and then the actual cell number, and then close it off with a parentheses. Now, if the actual name of the tab here had a space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this tab. And as you can see, it has a, a couple of spaces in between the name. So if I wanted to do the same thing over here, but I wanted to do a different cell, uh, and you have tabs that have space in between them, I'm gonna show you now how to write that formula. So this formula is going to look like this. I'm gonna zoom in now so you can see. It's going to be equal, and then you're gonna have a parentheses and then a single quotation, and then the name with spaces of the worksheet you're trying to link to, close it out with a single quotation, then the exclamation point as your divider, and then the cell number, and then close it out with the parentheses. As you can see again, the number or value of that cell will come up above here for you to check yourself, and then just hit enter. And as you can see, when we go back over to that new worksheet, it is indeed exactly what we want it to be. And if that changes, we can go to summary again and you can see that value or data set changes alongside the original cell that you are linking to. Now, the easy way of doing this is go to the cell that you want to pull to and then go ahead and start typing and go ahead and go to equals and then go ahead and add your parentheses. And then once you've added the parentheses, you now can freely take your mouse, go over to whatever sheet or worksheet you want to go to and find that data point that you want to pull, like you see right here, and you'll see the little dotted lines here around it, and then go ahead and close it out with a parentheses and click enter. And it'll take you back to your summary page or wherever you're trying to pull that data from. So again, you can either manually type in the formula, which you can see up here, or you can just go ahead and go here and type in the equals sign and then the parentheses, and it'll automatically start to where you can go to your other worksheets and pull from whatever cell you want to pull from. Now, there's a couple of other things that we can do. Um, let's say we want to do a sum and bring that over, or kind of like you want to add up numbers on a data point. Like we want to add up all of these cells here, and we want the, uh, the sum of these cells to show up in a summary worksheet tab over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring it down here. I'm going to bring us down our text. And now what I want to do is I go to equals, and then go to sum, and then go ahead and have our parentheses. And now that that has started, what we want to do is go to the uh, worksheet that we want to pull from and then select all of these cells that we want to add up and then go ahead and close our parentheses and then hit enter. And then as you can see, that will total them out from a different worksheet. Now, what I want to show you is that if we go here and we look at that formula, it is equals sum parentheses single quotation, then the name of that worksheet, close it out with a single quotation, exclamation B1, colon B4. Basically, it's telling us that we're getting the sum of, from this worksheet 
for this range B1 to B4. And then as you can see, it gives us the exact sum that we want. Now, there's a couple of other things that you can do. If you wanna pull from a different worksheet, you would need to go in and add a link to that worksheet within the formula before all of these data points. But for the most part, this is what you're going to be doing. Uh, if you have any questions about how to do this, uh, and again, this works with a lot of the different formulas and values that you may want to try, like an average or whatever it may be, and it allows you to create graphs from different data points from different worksheets. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this helps you out, and I will see you guys in the next video.